in God email. damn. Thank you, Eric, for the five hundo. He's working on a Lori Grenier impression. Do you know who that is? No. She's the broad on fucking uh on shark on shark tank oh wow oh okay she's Wait, the blonde which one? one there's oh, okay she's the blonde one that's nuts and uh the stupid one she's fucking sucks i yeah. can't stand it she always comes in with the stupidest reasoning like yeah. very like cop out like I yeah and she has like that weird like golden ticket thing you ever seen that like i'll have like clip like reels like will come up in my feed of just like shark tank shit and she's like you got the golden ticket oh it's fucking it's retarded. she says that yeah yeah, she's like, every season I have, like, the special golden ticket that they just get whatever they want. Like, whatever oh. offer they have, I just give it to them if they... If I was ever on Shark it. Tank, imagine all the adults, like, pitching their fucking livelihoods on Shark Tank and, like, getting clowned on by fucking Lori Grenier, this fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. I don't even like the mechanism of the show. I used to like it because it brought attention to, like, startups to the public. Mm-hmm. But the mechanism of the show where there's just basically like five overlords that are like sh like yeah. sorority girling your business. Yeah. It's run its course. Yeah. I like think it's, it's fine for a season or two. Yeah, yeah it's but cruel. It's, there's, there's enough. There's enough. Did you guys ever Is hear it about... still on air? Oh, it's fucking clobbering every year, dude. They, ABC wants to renew that for fucking 75 seasons. <laughs> yeah. there's, it's in every country, though. Yeah, yeah. They have like the British one, like the Dragon's Den or some shit like that. Yeah. They got mm -hmm. the Uzbekistani one. <laughs> They're yeah. like it's it's Mehmet Asmabajani yeah. from from fucking from Ultimate Heroes. He's got like potato hookah. That's his <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like fucking just yeah, yeah. fucking same thing, just different fucking people. This is Samir Nan Nanjani, heir to the Tikka Masala fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no, no. So Shark Tank wants to renew that. Mm -hmm. The cruelty now in season 10 of these fucking people's realities and like just people crying on stage in front of five people and, and millions of people. Yeah. About like several palsy or something. Mm -hmm. And just like that being a part of your identity for your brand. Right. Is just, I don't, get, I don't know, bro. You know, I'd like to make, I'd like to make a good product. I'd like to sell, sell something to the American people. I don't need the whole world to know about my IBS. <laughs> <laughs> that would be incredible, dude. Oh man, imagine if we get yeah. you out there, like run it. You, God, I'm like, I'm I'm selling a inflatable mattress. I'm like, yeah, my <sighs> I left my daughter in a hot car. <laughs> and so anyway, sharks, I'd like to offer you <laughs> twenty. <laughs> uh, hello, sharks. My name is David Mamet, <laughs> and I want to offer. I'm today. Am I offering you? 20% of my company for $500,000. The name of my company is Rogue Fitness. No, is uh, you, you go into it, mm -hmm. and why did you do this? You give the story, and whether you're good or bad, then they'll, then they'll start, they'll let you be good if you're a homegrown small business. Mm -hmm. Basically, they, they'll love you when you're small and mm -hmm. cute, but the second you're like a real business, they get like, yeah. Arr! So what's your SSP? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and you know your CTX line? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's what I can help with. Okay, then. Yeah. And then they start like whispering like that in the Max mafia. is going to sneak in there. Oh, yeah, no problem. <clears throat> He's going to give me photo head drone. Shark tag, baby. But anyway, so it's going to be a- Thank like, you so much. Sort of a morph of all of them. And he's going to be talking on the phone to Laurie Grenier, and Eric's working on a Laurie Grenier impression. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put him in like a blue dress and, and like- he he's got the whole look down and everything. Like we know what we know yeah. exactly. He's gonna be on the phone with her, a two way call, and he's gonna yeah. be in his mansion. Yeah, talking to me. Yeah, it's so funny because he picked. I was like, yeah, you should just do another like another billionaire that's kind of famous. I thought he should do Richard Branson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like or maybe do you think you could do Richard Branson? Uh, I can't. I can't do impressions, man. I know it's yes, you never. Can. Oh, it's, I could try. Yes, you can. I've Richard, seen you do impressions. Richard Branson's thing is he just will sit there quietly, quietly while someone's like punking him, and then he'll like throw water on them. Yeah, that's, have you, you seen know, that happen? That's exactly what I saw. And that's smiling like this. <laughs> it's mad funny though, dude. Do that again. <clears throat> You're <laughs> like jittery Mick Jagger like movements. Yeah, Richard Branson's a freak. Guy needs his ass kicked. Throws water on Kevin America. Captain America. I like no, that. Kevin America. I That's, like yeah, yeah. Kevin America. That's... No, 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 sir, Richard Branson.
look at his fucking face, dude. He looks like uh he looks like the T two thousand. He's a fruit. What's what did he do? Fruit pedophile island. Yeah, yeah. Could we possibly come in at for three hundred thousand and maybe for ten percent? No, 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 sir, Richard Branson. I'm asking a question. Oh wow. 600. Oh, okay. I think the water just has to. Be. <laughs> let me let me tell you what I. Do. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm out of here. Ooh, what? <laughs> Things have gotten fiery between the sharks as they debate the motivation for Yuna coming into the tank with her meditation app. She's hot. I wish they would play a gong when they show her. Wow. How did they negotiate that that one, that little stunt? Uh I think they touched fingers and their robots talked. Mm. <laughs> they were like, They're I wanna throw war at you. They're homunculi. What's that? With the it? little a homunculus is the little the little man that lives inside your head and pulls levers all day. Yes, that's your homunculus. They talk to each other through finger touching, mm -hmm. and he was like, "I don't think so. Not throwing water on me, bozo." <laughs> ah, and then he's just like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" Just like a loose yeah. psycho. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've been doing it for like a week now. No, well, last weekend I was doing it with uh, with that voice. Yeah, like <laughs> holy shit, like a loose billionaire. That's <laughs> yeah. You know, I told you I wanted four and a half percent advisory shares. <laughs> You're not gonna give them to me. I'll hurt you. Whoa. I'll man. hurt you. Holy shit. What? Holy shit, man. I'm made of titanium. No. What are you gonna do to me? Oh my god. You're gonna lock me in a jail cell? <laughs> I'll get out. Wow. With my arms. <laughs> Ooh, look, the cat. And he's touching the cat's asshole through his mouth and like this. There's a cat in the middle of me. He's like, I'm making my fingers touch. <laughs> ah. Then he walks over a coffin with his mom in it. And he looks at his mom and he just starts mushing her face, but it's a human woman. I have to get an actress to let me mush her face. And I'm like, oh, I told you. And he's just talking like hard business lines. Lori, I want to turn half percent advisory shares. If you're not gonna make the deal worth it for me, I'm gonna make you pay. <laughs> and then he just rips his mom's shirt open and looks at her tits. <laughs> what? And then someone comes in his office, like a woman, like he's like, "Excuse me, Mr. Taylor." I have to be an oblivious name. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Mark Cuban. There's someone on the phone for you. Send him in! Like, you know, like all of that. He should just look like this first. <laughs> <laughs> like, we should put hair on my head two inches above my head. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, put little, like, yes. sponges to build the wig little, out. No, just little metal things that hold the hair up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's air underneath. Yes, yeah, yeah. Like, so there's a gap. Yeah. On the wig. And, like... Yeah, just put like a, yeah, that's it. Holy shit. And maybe put like a big bumper on my forehead for, as a prosthetic. Yeah. And then, oh, and wear white veneers, like oversized mask white veneers, like the movie. Mask teeth. Let me text Joey and see if he knows a makeup person. I got a, I have a biker airbrush guy. I, mm -hmm. I got, <laughs> this is fantastic. Like the, the Harley tank painter guy that paints like hot dragon broads. Mm -hmm. He likes to airbrush women. Mm -hmm. he's a and obviously one of those that's what they those guys do they go to like laconia and they're like they airbrush like tribal tattoos on girls faces and shit. <laughs> like, you yeah, know like yeah. on like our mom's faces and shit when they go to like laconia <laughs> like yeah. my mom would be like i could picture my mom at laconia with like a tribal tattoo on her forehead <laughs> like woo, or like one on her arm or something something like fucking yeah, crazy. but he yeah. like does that okay but he does like colors and like face paint and shit and like hollow oh halloween costumes he, pra he brags about how many people won Halloween costumes with him. So, I'm really excited about it. He's going to be like nice. airbrush, airbrush and shit, like nonstop. Does he do it for like shows and shit? Mm -hmm. Okay. And he's like old, old. He's like OG. Nice. Who are you communicating with? Yeah. <laughs> Set builder. I'm asking if he's got any makeup uh, people. Oh, man. Because I don't know if I want to be any funnier than what I just said. No. I'm more, I probably won't even be able to get it that good on take day. No. I'm going to ruin the whole bit. No. Mm -mm. But I'm going to be, I don't know, I just love the fact that, like, it's just these creeps in offices, man. Shark Tank just ruining the, the, really trivializing the most important parts of our country, like American entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. We're just making a child out of it. Yeah. It's so fucking sad. No, that's a good point. 
Like we're, we're kind of like known culturally as being like kind of like whatever, even on the, on the corny side from the slot Olympic. machine business. Yeah, fucking kiddie pool golf uh, mini golf course business. Yeah, landscaping companies. Fucking but that's hot what dogs that's stand. what fucking builds everything. Yeah, it's yeah, well, it pays the bills. It's I mean, what fucking. I mean, it's the it's the source of all. Come on, everything above uh, subsistence farming. Yeah, is uh, and the that way the spirit of industry. And in that instance of uh, the, the subsistence farming guys, like they're getting fucked with so bad. I'm sorry, the commercial farmers are getting fucked with so bad that private enterprise is probably the, arguably becoming more exciting or more, one of the most ex expansive businesses and growth in our country. And for to watch our fucking people trying to go out there, and you have to go out there and talk about your shit, your IBS, like you said, mm -hmm. like when you when you went on Shark Tank to pitch your your baby, your, what is it, your spoon? Mm -hmm. You had a spoon that was a superior to all the other uh, spoons. LED light up baby spoon. Yep. And you can drop it, and it has a, a wrist magnet that you mm -hmm. can, the child could pick it up. Yeah. And it was the first one. Mm -hmm. You called it Nook. Nook. A nuke. Yeah, nuke. Nuke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they made me feel like an absolute dipshit. Yeah, I remember that. You were fucking bummed out. It was yeah. a tough day. And they pulled out, they had an airport body scanner, and they yeah. made me stand naked like this, yep. front, front and back. Turn him around. He's got metal in there. I can see it. Mm hmm. <laughs> He's telling you things that only a robot can see. Yeah. He's got metal in his pockets. I can see it. <laughs> oh, scanners! <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I have scanners in my eyes. I'm a billionaire. I put them in a long time ago. They have for food. They have like tubes <laughs> of like gray shit. <laughs> oh, what is it? What's the stuff? Like nanites or like... no? The the the, the meal. Not Huel. Huel or uh, the other one. Soylent. Soylent. Yeah. yeah it's Soylent too. It's like Soylent mixed with like oil filter shavings. <laughs> yeah. That's how they hydrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how billionaires hydrate. <laughs> Are you ready to hydrate like a billionaire? Nano fluid. <laughs> <laughs> I use the medical particles in an orb in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has its drawbacks. It's like, <laughs> like him in a meeting, like. <laughs> <laughs> like a meeting with six guys, they're like, what the f is he doing? <laughs> like, oh, he's just his nanotubes are digesting. <laughs> his carbon nanotubes that he's eating are digesting. I'm just gonna, I gotta take that as a note. Um, yeah, no, I, li I like them like uh, being horrific. And every time I talk about like them, like, you know, squishing kittens and shit and like eating frogs alive and like, like dipping their hands in like mayonnaise and then like, like sticking it in a fish tank, <laughs> just being like psychotic, weird. As long as it makes people dry, that's the, the reaction I'm looking for. It's like an aristocrat's joke.